To shade a system of inequalities, I start by graphing the lines. How to do this is the subject of other videos, so I'm going to use some shortcuts. The first equation, x plus y less than 7, I pretend that the less than sign is an equals, and I make a table of values the same way I would if it was an equality. This set of points would satisfy this equation. Drawing a line that goes through these points would have me put the line here. I use a dotted line because the symbol is less than and not less than or equal to, and that means the points on the line are not part of the answer. The next thing to do is a test point to see which side of the line to shade. If I test the point 0, 0, I end up with a true statement, and that means that 0, 0 has to be within the solution set for this inequality. That means I am going to shade on this side of the line. I choose a direction for my shading, and I shade all the way to the edges of the graph. To make it clear that I know that all of the points within the shaded region are part of the answer. Now I move on to the second equation, which is x greater than or equal to 2y. Again, I pretend that the symbol is an equals, and I use the same method that I would use if I was shading an equality. Here is a set of points that would satisfy this equation. And the resulting will end up here. Next I have to do a test point for this line. And since this line goes through 0, 0, I cannot use 0, 0 as my test point. I'm going to test the point 10, 10. If I plug 10 and 10 as my x and y into the inequality, I get a false statement. And that means I need to shade the side of the line that does not include the point 10, 10. I'm going to shade like this. When I choose the direction for the lines of my shading, I choose two contrasting directions so that when I, both lines have been shaded, the region that is part of the answer for both lines ends up with this sort of checkerboard pattern. I know that the region that has no shading at all is not part of the answer. And these two regions over here and over here that are single shaded are also not part of the answer for the system of inequalities. Only the region that is double shaded is part of the answer. I label on the graph both of my inequalities with the numbers that they were given in the system to make it easier for me and to anyone who is correcting my work to see which line is which and which line goes with which table of values. This is how you shade a system of inequalities.